Okay, today, so we will be talking about arithmetic mean. But first, what is arithmetic mean? So, arithmetic mean is a term or terms that appears in between of the terms of an arithmetic sequence. And whenever that we are asked to look for a single arithmetic mean, we use the formula a sub 1 plus a sub n divided by 2. So, as we all know, a sub 1 simply means the first term and a sub n means the last term. So, let us see how does this formula works. Let us have this problem. Find the arithmetic mean between 32 and negative 10. So, in this problem, we are plainly asked to look for a single arithmetic mean. So, therefore, this is what our sequence will be. So, 32, blank, negative 10. So, we are to find out what could be that number in between these two. So, let us now use the formula under arithmetic mean. So, it is a sub 1 plus a sub n divided by 2. So, what could be our a sub 1? So, a sub 1 is basically the first term. And on our sequence, our first term is 32. So, therefore, it becomes 32. While a sub n means the last term, so therefore, our last term is negative 10. So, upon the writing our equation, so the arithmetic mean is equal to 32 plus negative 10 divided by 2. So, the next thing that we need to do is to simplify the numerator. So, 32 plus negative 10. So, therefore, it becomes now 22. Then, 22 divided by 2. Therefore, our arithmetic mean is said to be 11. So, which means this is the answer to our problem. So, I hope this is clear. Let's have another example. Find the arithmetic mean between negative 12 and negative 4. So again, we are asked to look for a single arithmetic mean. So just like the previous one, so we have a similar look for our sequence. So negative 12, blank, negative 4. Using the same formula, let us still use a sub 1 plus a sub n divided by 2. So a sub 1 is the first term again. So in this case, what we do have is negative 12. And a sub n, which is the last term, what we do have is negative 4. We're writing our equation, so what we do have now is negative 12 plus negative 4 divided by 2. Then further simplifying now our equation, so negative 12 plus negative 4, so that gives us negative 16. Then dividing negative 16 by 2, so therefore our arithmetic mean is equal to negative 8. So that's how simple and that's how easy we find the arithmetic mean if we are just only asked to look for a single one. If you are asked to look for more than one arithmetic means, the formula cannot be applied. Instead, what you need is to find the common difference and use it to insert the required number of arithmetic means. So what do I mean with that? So let's have insert three arithmetic means between 8 and negative 4. So in this case, we are asked to look for three arithmetic means. So this is how our sequence will be. So 8, blank, 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 then negative 4. In order for us to fill out this blank, so we need to find first the common difference. So we use the formula D is equal to A sub N minus A sub 1 divided by N minus 1. So what is our A sub N? A sub N, as we all know, means the last term. And our last term, based on our sequence, is negative 4. Minus A sub 1. A sub 1 means the first term, and our first term, obviously, is that number 8. Divided by n, n means the number of terms. So how many terms do we have here? So upon looking our visualization of the problem, so we do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we do have 5 terms in all. So meaning our n is 5. So now let us rewrite our equation. So d is equal to negative 4 minus 8 divided by 5 minus 1. So we simplify negative 4 minus 8. So that gives us negative 12. While on the denominator part, what we do have is 5 minus 1, and the answer there is 4. Therefore, what we do have now is d equals negative 12 divided by 4. So upon dividing th these two, so negative 12 divided by 4, so therefore our common difference is negative 3. So this negative 3 will be our key in order uh, for us to insert those three arithmetic means. So by using this number, we will add this on the first term, then continuously adding for us to obtain those three arithmetic means. So 8 plus negative 3, the answer is 5. 
then 5 plus negative 3, the answer is 2, then 2 plus negative 3, so the answer is negative 1. So this is how we find those arithmetic means whenever that we are asked to look for more than one arithmetic means. Let's have another one. Insert four arithmetic means between negative 9 and negative 54. So again, we visualize the problem. So what we do have now as our sequence will be negative 9, blank, 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 negative 4. So let us now find those four arithmetic means. So again, whenever that we are asked to look for more than one arithmetic means, so we need to first find the common difference. So the common difference, again, is equal to a sub n minus a sub 1 over n minus 1. A sub n means the last term, and our last term is negative 54. Minus a sub 1, our a sub 1 is the first term, which is negative 9. Again, divided by n, which is the number of terms. So in this case, how many terms do we have? So we do have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in all, we do have 6 terms. So our n is 6. So let us now rewrite our equation. D is equal to negative 54 minus negative 9 divided by 6 minus 1. So let us now simplify. So negative 54 minus negative 9. So that gives us negative 45. Then on the denominator part, 6 minus 1, that gives us 5. So therefore, what we do have now is D equals negative 45 divided by 5. So upon dividing these two, Therefore, our common difference is negative 9. So just like what we did on the previous one, let us use this value for us now to insert those missing numbers. So negative 9 plus negative 9, that gives us negative 18. Negative 18 plus negative 9 is negative 27. Plus negative 9 is negative 36. Plus negative 9 is negative 45. So if we're going to further continue, negative 45 plus negative 9, so exactly, we end up with negative 54. So this is how we insert more than one arithmetic means. So hope everything is clear. So thank you for watching.